Hey, uh, so today I'm going to be filming with your uh, drugstore favorites, drugstore recommendations. Some of them are favorites of yours and then some of them are products that you just like really wanted me to try and I don't know if you said they were your favorites or you just really wanted me to try them. So um, that's what we're gonna do. Just really quickly, I would have way, I mean, I have a ton of products, like we're basically doing a full face, but I would have even more, but Ulta did me real dirty uh, and I'm super bitter about it. So just quick, obviously I placed these orders for drugstore makeup on Ulta.com and I received two different packages and like 50% of the things that I bought both times uh, were opened and touched. And I was like, the fuck? And then I returned a bunch and then they like were, were like, oh my God, we're so sorry. We're gonna like resend you some stuff. And they resent them and a bunch of those were opened and touched. And I was like, what? So just a word of warning, I guess, when ordering from Ulta.com right now. So I'm already um, prepped. I just got out of the shower. I moisturized, I applied sunscreen and one of them was a sunscreen that I was gonna use, but it was opened and it was pumped. So not touching it. Um, so I'm just gonna prep underneath my eyes and I'm gonna be using the NYX Studio, someone suggested this, NYX HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. This is in 04, I guess there are different shades. So it's like a, you know, primer, whatever. So that's how I'm going to prep my under eyes. I already did like a moisturizer and all that. I'm using a really tiny amount. And this is a Wayne Goss technique. Um, I was watching a Robert Welsh video and I had been using um, Urban Decay Eden, priming potion in Eden, and he was talking about like preventing creasing and he specifically said, don't use <laughs> priming potion in Eden. And I was like, cool. That's literally what I've been using. So I'm thinking maybe it's just like too heavy. I don't know. But what I like about the NYX uh, eye primers, like I, I think I have another one that I have a sheer, is that they're quite lightweight and I can, link my my video where I talk about Wayne Goss's technique and why I do this up top. All right, for once, I'm not looking too oily. Had to like redo my skincare because I've been so oily recently. Uh, so um, I guess I'm gonna do some color correction just while we're here. I'm gonna pop on my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is light ivory or ivory something, light ivory. Um, okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Color Correcting Full Coverage Natural Finish Collagen Peptides and Niacinamide. Uh, broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. This guy. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I first opened this is, oh, what shade am I? Fair 140 Warm. So it says that its net weight is 1.05 ounces. One fluid ounce. When I compared the amount, I was like, how? How? Because I started pumping it to try and get some stuff out and it just looks like there's nothing in here, right? Like, am I crazy? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna apply that with my Linda Hallberg's sponge. That's what I've been doing recently. It's a thick formula. Oh shit, okay. <sighs> it looks like it's gonna be way more full coverage than I was expecting. I don't really know anything about this product. I just know that, so, I don't know if someone said it was their favorite or if they just really wanted me to try it, but I've seen it, um, like I think Ali, I think I saw Ali Glines use it. Oh, the color looks pretty good. Seems like it has a pretty decent amount of coverage too. I'm always so confused about um, CC creams. Like I just don't, I still don't understand the difference between like a CC cream and a BB cream. CC cream is more full coverage maybe. It does like color correcting and a BB cream ugh, is like a tinted moisturizer or something, but I like the idea of collagen peptides and niacinamide. Those all sound like really great things. So that looks pretty nice. Might be a shade lighter than my skin tone, but um, the tone of it looks very nice and the finish looks pretty good. It, I don't know, it's looking a little bit like dewy on my skin. What is it supposed to be? Natural finish, so. I mean, it just looks very healthy. It doesn't look like wet or anything. You'll have to let me know what you think. And then the coverage is actually quite nice. I'm just gonna um, pop like a couple little bits. Like when I put it down, I'm just like, damn man, that's a lot of coverage, you know? You can tell as soon as you pop it down. But just in the areas where I need a little bit more coverage. I kind of want to just take this underneath my eyes because I don't have a new I don't have like a concealer to try. That was one of the things that um, was opened and used. So I'm actually just gonna take like a tiny bit on 
my sponge and use it, see if I can use it as a concealer. Because it just seems like it's a really good formula for all over the face. That seems nice. I like that. I'm going to pick up a little bit more. Had like um, little spots of irritation. I'm kind of like messing with my skincare right now because I've been binge watching Hiram videos and I'm all over the place, man. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make vitamin C work here. Okay, I'm a big fan of that. That looks really, really nice. Like enough coverage to use underneath my eyes and give me a good amount of coverage, you know, over top of my uh, color corrector. I like the finish of it. I'm a little worried about like the center of my face because for whatever reason, I've just been getting like super oily there. So we'll just kind of have to see how it reacts with powder, but I think it looks very nice. All right, I just uh, sketched out some brows real quick and then I'm going to go in and prime my lids with that NYX primer. Same one. And people were asking me about, uh, I do have the Fenty, what's it called? Dew Drop or something? Um, I've had to pick up a new color, so I will review that if you guys are interested. I'm super excited to use it. Uh, I tested the color, the color seems nice. And the KVD Apple Foundation, they sent me the wrong shade and I asked if they could send me a new one and they haven't responded. And I just don't really wanna buy another freaking thing. So like, I'll do it if you really wanna see it, but. I don't know, dude, just go watch James Welsh or uh, Robert Welsh's video on it. Did I say James Welsh earlier? Cause I meant Robert. Anyway, I'm just gonna add a teeny little bit. I'm not using any concealer today. I'm just gonna use a teeny little bit more of this foundation. Just to make sure I have, you know, a good amount of coverage. Just kidding, I'm gonna contour really quickly before I set with powder. Um, all right, now I'm gonna set underneath my eyes with my Revlon, Re Revlon? Revlon Candid. And then I'm just going to take that powder into, you know, the center of my face, the areas where I tend to get oily throughout the day. This has quickly become one of my favorite powders, by the way. It's just like for setting. I've been using, I love the Elsie Cosmetics powder that I've been using, but this one is just like so finely milled. And every time I use it, I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> I really love this. So I was going to set the rest of my face using my Maybelline Fit Me. Um, cause this is just like a classic, nobody recommend or requested it, but it's just, you know, it's a go-to powder. They have so many different shades, skin tone shades. Um, and it's just a great loose finishing powder. Uh, but you know, I just don't really feel like I need it. So I'm going to leave the rest of my face alone and now I'm going to go with my bronzer, which I'm really excited about. So this is the L'Oreal, uh, Lumi Bronze It in the shade Light. So sun-kissed bronzer for face and body. So it's got like a really beautiful like sheen to it. I don't know how the color is gonna go for my skin. I obviously got the lightest one because I'm super fair. Can you see the re reflect in it? Yeah, see that sheen? There's like a little bit of pearl in it. I don't know, I'm just like really excited about it. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. It's very, very soft. So let's see, I'm always worried with these bron- because it just looks kind of um neutrally. I typically go for something that's a little bit more golden, but We'll see. I just really love the idea of the glow in it. Well, it's blending really nicely over my foundation, which is good. And I can definitely see a glow. Um, it is a little neutral. I don't think it's gonna be the worst color in the world for me, but yeah, that like, the problem with having olive skin is if a bronzer is too cool toned, it can end up looking really muddy and that's kind of what I feel like is happening right now. If you have any of the other colors, you'll have to let me know if like maybe like the more medium shade would have a little bit more um, warmth to it because this is obviously meant for very fair skin. This color would probably be like pretty good for someone who is like a little bit more cool toned to neutral, you know? It's not terrible, but it just doesn't really look like it's almost looking more like a contour color on me. But the formula is really pretty. Yeah, that's too bad. I feel like it's looking very muddy on my skin tone. Okay, next up, I ordered a bunch of Citrice, is it Citrice products? And a bunch of them were used. So I only have the blush. This is the Glowing Multicolor Blush Box in the shade Dolce Vita, which is just really pretty, like it's very, um, dimensional. It's got like a few, three different colors, I think. Something about that just always makes me happy. 
you know, like being able to mix it together. Cause like, you're not, it's not like you're dipping into individual colors and using them individually, you know, but I don't know, just something about it just makes me feel like it's going to be so luminous on my skin or something. That's really pretty. I like that. It's very, uh, it's very light. I was worried that it was going to be like really pigmented, which is always like my worry with blush just because I'm so freaking fair. I have this little irritated red patch right here. So I'm going to kind of like go around it, <laughs> try to blend my blush into it. Nice choice. So far, all of the formulas seem to be working really well together too. All right. For my eyes, I was a little surprised by this when I, uh, got the palette. So someone suggested using the seventies feels palette from elf and on the website, it looked a little bit dull, but Ulta's website sucks. So I was like, Oh, it's gotta be more vibrant than that. But then I got it and I was like, Hmm, it's really dull looking. <laughs> so I was a little surprised by this, that it was someone's favorite, but, um, no offense. Uh, maybe we have very different skin tones. I gotta open this. It's all shimmer, um, or like satin. I can't really tell. It all looks like satiny, satiny shades. Okay. See, this makes me nervous because there's eyeshadow on the brush, you guys. And that doesn't look like it just came out of this to me. <sighs> I haven't even written like an angry email back to Ulta to be like, yo, you gave me a bunch. Like, I feel like a bunch of these things, like there's a hair, there's a hair in here. Can you see the hair? It seems to me like a bunch of these things were either opened or like messed with, and then they just like resealed them and sold them. And like, I get that returns, it, it can be kind of wasteful because I don't know what happens to that stuff. Like, I, I don't think I'd, Pretty sure they're not supposed to resell it. And I don't know what to do here now, but that happened with like a lot of stuff. Another, I don't have a highlighter because the Essence highlighter that I ordered, the two of them, like the one I ordered and the replacement was all touched. And you could tell that someone just took a brush and tried to like smooth it out, you know? And then when I received it, it wasn't sealed. And when I compared to the two, like the one that I bought and the replacement, they looked super different. So, let me go look at my stash. So instead I am going to be using something else. So I grabbed the Revlon So Fierce Tantrum Caprice palette, 965. So it looks like this. It's got really pretty colors. It's just like kind of a vibe right now. Um, and it's also kind of like similar-ish. I mean, it's all shimmer, you know? So that's interesting. I kind of want to like just go in with this like shimmer all over my lids. Like something really light that's kind of fun i haven't done that you know what i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna grab the lightest shade um and this is something that i like haven't done i feel like in a really long time i'm just gonna pick that up on my finger and i'm going to pass start off by patting it on my lid and then i'm just going to blend it basically up and out so i'm kind of like setting my eye primer with it like focusing it on the on the lid and then just patting it up and out what the is this and I'm just gonna take that like all the way up to my brow bone just kind of like blend it lightly um and then I'm gonna take that on my lower lash line as well like we're just gonna do this is just reverse we're just doing eyeshadow in reverse all the way into the inner corner and then someone suggested the Maybelline master precise skinny gel pencil i'm a little nervous about this because well first of all it's super duper tiny and they said that they use it for tight lining it's super tiny i don't really tight line and i want to see if i can Ooh, it's very creamy Ooh, it's very creamy okay cool so i'm gonna line the upper part of my um eyes with this and try to blend it out i need a tiny brush though kind of like i did in um my jen atkin elf video and i am gonna like tight line the inner part. So just kind of like following, like basically drawing, dotting into my lash line. So this is just going to be something to make my lash line look more full. And I'm not gonna wing it. I'm just gonna like make it a little tiny bit thicker on the outer part. And I'm gonna take this little Japanese brush and go in and blend into the lash line. Just kind of diffuse that color. Very nice. Love how tiny it is and it blends really nicely. 
So then around the outer part, I'm just gonna, I'm not trying to wing it. I'm just like, um, diffusing. This used to be my shit in high school, dude. Something like really, really light like this on the lids and then just like making my lash line smoky. <laughs> dude, our espresso machine is so loud. Oh no, I kind of fucked up. You did good. Big fan. Big fan of that liner. Whoever suggested this. That is a legit recommendation right there. Love it. I'm gonna be using this all the time. Love how precise it is. Okay, I don't have a highlighter. What should I use? Hmm. So since my eyes are so light and I don't have that much color, I'm gonna actually uh, go in with my iced highlighter from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics because it's a little bit more bronzy. I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna set my brows using the, hold on, let me find it, the NYX The Brow Glue. And I'm very excited about this. I tried it the other day, but I had already had something in my brow. So I don't think it was like, it really gave it a fair shot. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's in a little squeeze tube or whatever. 0.17 ounces, it's kind of small. And then it's got like a little spoolie and it's got like, um, definitely looks like glue, you know? I don't know if you can see that piece coming off. So let's see how this goes. Definitely like how tiny the spoolie is. It feels a little sticky. I mean, it is supposed to be glue, it's NYX glue. So, you know. Damn, I mean, definitely seems like it's doing the job. We'll have to see how it holds, you know? Like, look at that. I'm interested. I'll be interested to see like how much it dries down though. Cause it does feel kind of um, sticky and wet, you know? And I also, I still need to go in with my brow pen. I'm gonna use the one from NYX because it's everybody's favorite. And I'm just curious how it'll go over this, you know? Okay, I'm impressed so far. <laughs> I'm hoping that it holds. I'm gonna let those set while I do my mascara. So I'm just gonna throw down one of my regular mascaras because I had purchased the Essence mascara, but once again, it was one of the things that was definitely opened. It's on my list of things to try. And I am gonna be trying lashes, but if I weren't, if I was just gonna be using my natural lashes, then I would definitely recommend the CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara, which I've misplaced, but it's become my absolute favorite. So if you're looking for a drugstore waterproof mascara, that is the best one. Oh, it's right here. The best. Okay, before I apply lashes, I'm gonna finish off my brows. I'm gonna be using my NYX uh, Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, uh, which is just the absolute best. It's my favorite. And I picked up a couple more colors because I've been wanting to do my brows a little bit darker since I went mint. So I picked up taupe and gray black. So I'm gonna go in with taupe first and do kind of a light filling throughout, just like a really, really light filling so that I can use this a little bit more at the front of the brow. Hmm, they still feel kind of sticky. Maybe I'll wait a little longer after I do this. Yeah, they're still kind of sticky. I'm gonna um, let them set because I'm just worried about getting that product all over the pens. So I'm gonna wait for a second. Uh, for my lashes, I'm going to apply, these are my favorites that I wanted to share with you. Not necessarily this style, but I love Kiss lashes. You know, I love Ardell. There are all kinds of drugstore lashes that I've recommended in the past, but Kiss has some of my favorites because these for instance, have very, very thin bands. The lashes themselves at the ends are tapered. And I feel like Kiss was one of the first uh, drugstore lash brands to do that, to make really, really natural looking lashes. So one of my favorites, um, this is in the style No Filters. Yeah, the uh, NYX stuff stays wet for like a while. And I feel like they're kind of starting to fall a little bit on this one. I was really excited. Yeah, those are a little bit much, huh? If I trimmed them, I think they'd be a lot better, but this is a little bit much for me. Oh, but the band is so like flexible. They're kind of giving me, um, actually this makeup in general is kind of giving me like Marilyn Monroe vibes. All right, while that's getting tacky, uh, I'm gonna go in with my brown black NYX pencil and finish off the brows. Don't know how I feel about this glue, you guys. It definitely seems like it would be something best used at the very end of your brow routine. I kind of feel like it's um hard to go in with the pen afterwards. Like like where I go in with the pen, it starts to kind of fall down. Um, and it's also very shiny, like it's not matte. So yeah, the pen is having like a really hard time drawing over it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like them. 
they're like so curly. All right, for lips, I'm gonna be using one of your recommendations. This is the Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 04 All Natural. Someone said that this would be really good for me and the color looks nice, but I'm a little worried that's gonna to be too pink, so we'll see. I like the pencil formula. It's very easy to draw with. I'm basically gonna fill my lips with that. It's a pretty color. It's not something that I would typically go for, but now that I've covered my lips in it, I actually kind of like it. All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look with everything. What do we think? You know what I just realized? Someone suggested a, this mist that I just forgot about. So this is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist by e.l.f. So it's got green tea, cucumber, and aloe. I'm worried it's gonna be dewy, but let's just try it. Nice mist. Hmm, it's a very fine mist. Yeah, I feel like all of these just end up making me look even dewier. I'll have to try, I'll have to just like try this when my skin's more matte or something. Did that make me dewier? I think it did. Um, all right guys, that's it for this. Uh, I guess in conclusion, the only things that I'm like on the fence about are the NYX glue. I definitely wanna try that when I have, see that's the thing though, I, when I, after I set my brows, I always go back in and fill in certain areas. So I don't know, it just stays sticky. Like it still feels kind of sticky. Like it feels like flexible. And if you like that kind of thing, maybe maybe you don't need as much. Like I, I like my brows to be set because this makes me feel like they're gonna fall throughout the day or you know, if any water gets on them, they'll just like be ruined or something. And I just don't get that with my soap. I'll have to keep using it. Obviously the NYX uh, pens, I've been using those forever. Like they're the best. So can't say anything bad about that. I actually really like the lip liner color. So this is Milani, what is it? All natural. It's actually really pretty. It's got like more color in it than I typically would go for, but I went in with a um, Max Stone and just did a little bit of uh, like structure, but it's actually really nice. Like it's very pretty. It looks very um, natural and it's very lightweight. Like I feel, I basically filled in my lips like it was a lipstick and I really like the way it looks. I love the blush. I obviously didn't use a highlighter, a new highlighter. The eyeshadow palette is just one that I love. Like I love Revlon's tiny little palettes. It's just beautiful. The eyeliner, legit. I'm so, I'm so happy that uh, someone recommended that because I'm definitely gonna be using that a lot. I was very surprised by how, not only how precise it was, but also how blendable it was. Like so blendable and very um, pigmented which was nice as well. Um, the foundation I'm a little on the fence about, it looks very natural. Um, I don't know, it's more natural looking than I was expecting it to be, I guess. And since I didn't use a concealer, I don't know, I guess I usually go in with concealer and today I just didn't feel like it, which is like so weird, but I just didn't want to. Um, I like it, it's very natural. Yeah, if you're looking for something that gives like very good coverage, but is very natural, it's probably not going to manipulate your own skin type very much. And by that, I mean like the finish of it is like, if you tend to be a little bit more oily, it might end up looking more dewy. And if you tend to be a little bit more matte, it might end up being more matte, if that makes sense. Um, is that everything? The lashes are just like a little too much. I think uh, like I love Kiss lashes, but these are just like a little too much. Uh, little longer than what I'm used to. No filters, but they do have flirty, I think is the style that I used to love. I just couldn't find it on the website. But yeah, I would be happy to, I would love for you guys to recommend more drugstore products or even just products in general. But if you want to do like another version of this, I would love to probably just have to like go into the store and actually purchase them. Cause I love the slip liner. I love the eyeliner. What else was recommended? I think I, I'm pretty sure I like the foundation. Oh, the blush. I love the blush. Whoever recommended the blush. Love that. Citrice, I need to try more from Citrice. Oh, the bronzer, the bronzer is a little bit cool toned. You know, it's a little bit cool toned, but I feel like I made it work. Like, especially on camera, it actually looks quite nice. But if I go in a little too heavy with it, like I have to keep a very light hand. If I go in a little too heavy with it, it can end up looking muddy, so. Yeah, I guess that's it. I wish I had that Essence highlighter because it did look really pretty, but this is fine. Um, all right guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know your, uh, other drugstore recommendations that you'd like me to try and I'll be happy to make a part two. Bye.
just trying to do the thumbnail, breaking everything. <laughs>